I don't know who needed that win more, the team or the fans. A week after a disappointing loss to the Carolina Panthers, the Arizona Cardinals bounced back to have an impressive 23-13 win without Kyler Murray against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. In this video, I'm going to identify my five key takeaways from this game. My first takeaway is that the Cardinals had a good offensive game plan from Cliff Kingsbury. He went back to running the ball, using screen passes, short passes, and avoided the turnovers and all the third and longs that they had last week. There were a few points where the offense stalled out, but overall the Cardinals were able to move the ball much better than they did last week. And the big thing about this is they committed to running the ball with James Conner more. That was one of the biggest problems last week. They tried passing on early downs a lot, got turnovers, third and longs, difficult situations. But in this game, the Cardinals moved the ball with short passes, running game, and avoided putting the defense in really bad situations. Which leads to the second takeaway. The defense had another solid game. Now aside from the game against Carolina and their struggles against the run overall, this Cardinal defense has actually been really good this year. Sure there were a few big plays here and there by Seattle, but overall the Cardinals did a really good job of keeping them out of the end zone and gave up only 13 points all day. My third takeaway is that this was a rough day for Matt Prater. He missed a couple short field goals and an extra point, and the game wouldn't have been nearly as close as it was if it weren't for those missed kicks. Now Prater is working with the new long snapper, so that might be part of the issues, but still the Cardinals signed Prater to come in and be more consistent and he struggled this game. And what's making it even more frustrating is that Zane Gonzalez, the player that we let go, is having a really good season with Carolina. Hopefully Prater can get these issues resolved and come out of the bye week his normal consistent self. But overall, it was a really rough day for Prater. My fourth takeaway is that it was a good game for the Cardinals' tall pass catchers. Zach Ertz, Antoine Wesley, AJ Green all had good games and made some big catches, especially Ertz's two touchdown receptions. My fifth takeaway is that this was a bounce back game for Colt McCoy. Now McCoy struggled mightily against Carolina and a lot of Cardinals fans were down on him because of that. But overall he's gone two and one in the three games that he's been called upon to start. Backup quarterbacks are going to be inconsistent. If they weren't, they would be starters. But to have your backup quarterback come in and go two and one over a three game stretch is really a good outcome altogether. And overall, what we've seen from Colt McCoy is better than what we've gotten out of our backup quarterbacks over the last couple of seasons. But this is a nice way to go into the bye week, on a win, giving Kyler time to continue to rest up that ankle, and leading the NFL with a 9-2 record. Hopefully the team can come out of the bye week healthy and ready for a solid stretch run to secure that number one seed and the first round bye in the playoffs. What were your takeaways from the game? Let me know in the comments below. And also, please be sure to click like on this video. And if you're a Cardinals fan, consider subscribing to my channel. I post Cardinals videos every week, and I think you'll enjoy my content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule.